Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, we will talk about an organ that most people are too weak and has difficulty in controlling it. What am I pertaining to is no other than the heart. Aside from having palpitations or skipping a bit, let us refresh our knowledge with its main functions and the blood circulation that is happening inside. So if you're ready, let's start. The heart is a muscular organ located in the chest just behind and slightly toward the left of the breastbone. It roughly measures the size of a closed face. Functions it is an organ that pumps oxygenated blood throughout the body. It supplies oxygen and nutrients to the tissues and removes carbon dioxide and other waste. Lastly, it facilitates in maintaining blood pressure. Before we proceed with the blood circulation inside the heart, let us take note of these important details that we need to consider. Arteries carry oxygenated blood that circulates away from the heart, while veins carry deoxygenated blood towards the heart. With this general rule, there are special considerations concerning the blood circulation inside the heart. Pulmonary artery, it carries deoxygenated blood, while pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood. The human heart has four chambers, two upper chambers which are the atria and two lower chambers which are the ventricles. Aside from the four chambers, we also have four valves. These valves keep the blood moving in the right direction and not to flow backwards. Let's now proceed to the blood circulation inside the heart. It will start from superior and inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava receives blood from the upper part of the body like head, neck, upper limbs, and chest, while inferior vena cava will receive blood from the lower part of the body such as the trunk, viscera, and lower limbs. From superior and inferior vena cava, it will enter the right atrium. Then it will pass the tricuspid valve to enter into the right ventricle. Then it will pass through the pulmonary valve so that it can enter into the pulmonary artery. Note, the blood here is still deoxygenated that makes the pulmonary artery an exemption. From the pulmonary artery, it will now go to the lungs, where gas exchange will occur. After that, the blood is already oxygenated and it will now enter the pulmonary veins. Again, this is another exemption because pulmonary veins carry the oxygenated blood from the lungs. From there, it will enter the left atrium. Then it will pass the mitral valve, going to the left ventricle. Finally, the oxygenated blood will go through the aortic valve, entering the aortic arch. The aorta is the largest arteries and it distributes the oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.